Hey everybody, Christian here, SuperRocketPunch.com. I'm really excited to show you this one. This is Solitarica, and uh, we're going to go through the tutorial here. I've been playing this quite a bit on my tablet uh, and having a real good time. So let's go through the tutorial and I'll talk a little bit about it. We need your help to save the land of Myriad. How you say? By defeating the armies of Stuck. If you are to have any chance, you must master the art of solitaire. How will you do that? Don't worry. I am the great and powerful Kismet. I will teach you everything you must know. First, let me show you the basics. How to clear cards. To remove them, follow number sequences starting with your own card. Here, let me deal your card for you. Toad Solitaire, to start with. Uh, tap to remove cards that are one more or less than the number of your card, like Solitaire. Good sound effects. Promising. Now wouldn't it be fun to make this more tricky? Clear the cards in one go. Careful you can get stuck. So, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, good. You had the hang of it. Now, let me get the full deck of cards. Alright. Well, this is upsetting. Nothing matches. When you need a new card, tap your deck to draw one. Try it now. Great. Now, once again, clear the cards. All right. Seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten. Or, yeah, let's go with ten. Eight, seven, eight, nine. Done. If you are to defeat the armies of stock, you must train by battling dangerous foes. But first, let's practice on something a little not so dangerous. So it's kind of the, the fun part of this game is like you're not just playing solitaire, you're actually sort of battling creatures. We do not use the art of solitaire simply for the fun of clearing away cards. No, solitaire is a weapon. When you clear the cards, you defeat your enemy. All right, so king. As you will see in a moment, your enemy can fight back. Every time you turn a card, your enemy gets a turn of its own. The dirty guppy is mostly harmless. He will nibble you a bit. Observe. Your enemies do not use the art of solitaire. They wield the horrible power of stuck. They will make it harder to clear the cards and try to break your heart. Aww. Now clobber this pipsqueak. Before your heart reaches zero. This guy seems harmless. Alright, take one damage. Not so bad. Ace, king. Ace, king. Done and done. Well, this is very exciting indeed. I do think you have a chance. That was fun, but uh, there is more than one way to clobber a dirt guppy. That's what, I, that's what my grandma always said. Next, I'll teach you about card energy. Notice the cards are now colorful and have a magical glyph. It is Solitarica. The cards are vessels of great and powerful energies. In this battle, we will use attack energy, which is orange and symbolized by the axe. Every card you draw or remove will grant you energy, which is stored right here. Try it. Gather some attack energy. Three, four, five. Now we will harness the true power of Solitaire. So there's attack, there's shields, there's agility, and willpower. Uh, that sword icon that just appeared is a spell that can stab, called Stab. As you can see, it costs three attack energy to use. And uh, use spells often as they will make the difference between victory and defeat. This, will spell, this spell lets you destroy any front card, no matter the number. Try it now. Let's go with the queen. 
Ace is down to defeat the Dirt Guppy again using the new skills. All right. So that's kind of the fun part about this game is like you'll be going through multiple tiers um, as you progress, which I'll show you once we get to the sort of main hub area. Queen Jack, ten Jack, ten Jack. Um, so you get different upgrades. Um, you'll be collecting coins as you clear, and you get streaks, and you use those coins to upgrade your weapons. Or your skills, rather. In the next battle, I'll grant you four spells, one for each energy type. With this power, let us take on a more dangerous foe. Dirt Guppy's mom. How dare you? Mom's got to defend her babies. Give three attack. That's very generous. So, we can do King Ace... And we'll use that on the three, since I like to use it on the card that is furthest away from all the other cards. So if you've got, in this case, there's Jack, Queen, Nine. They're kind of like towards the higher end. So I'll eliminate a lower card in that case. So you get three attack. Um, in this case, it'll be the five. Or if, you know, I need a certain attack value, I'll go for that value. Kind of depends on the situation. And as you progress through the game, you'll use different strategies differently, uh, depending on the skills you have. Because depending when you when you start a run, you'll be picking from different skill levels, but also sort of a different character. Meaning that as you progress through the game, and you start as a different character that character focuses on different skills. So right now, it's sort of all around, but if you start a character such as, I think it's the monk, is attack and agility, you'll get a lot of attack power and a lot of agility, but the other two skills you won't get so much. So you have to sort of pick your skills and your upgrades based on that. Which I think creates a different challenge, um, because as you progress, once you beat the game the first time, like you'll still be, you'll still be fighting the same types of enemies, but you'll have to approach them differently, which I think creates a lot of uh, gameplay challenges. So use the shield there. Shields are pretty important, um, but again, depending on which skill your character focuses on, you might want to focus on, like, you know, replenishing hearts more, or focusing on attack power, things like that. I like to leave any sort of attacks, like, I like to kind of leave one available so I can just take out the last one. Congratulations, you have completed your training. Victory. So now the unfortunate part is warrior deck unlocked so that's good um you are now ready to venture into the land of myriad good luck so there's essentially like a coin doubler aspect to this um and we'll go into the settings i would not hit fast animation i think that uses video and or as it says up top it does use video and that will drain the battery faster this this uh game is a bit of a battery drain, so I would be weary of that. Um, especially, I'm using an older tablet, it's a 2013 Nexus 7. I'm not playing that on this right now, I'm playing this on an LG V20, but I've been playing this at night on my tablet, and it drains pretty quickly. Um, considering it's an older tablet, that makes sense, but just something to be aware of. Now, as I was saying, you have Warrior, which focuses on defense and attack, so that means I'll get be getting defense and attack cards more often. And then as you progress and unlock different difficulties or different characters, this one focuses on agility and defense. This one focuses on defense and willpower, agility and attack, willpower and attack, agility and willpower. And so you'll have to approach your, your runs differently, your upgrades differently. So... 
as you can see on the bottom here, there's like this little prism. Um, I forget what they're actually called, but you collect those and you get sort of permanent upgrades. So if I were to collect 60 and I tap that there, it says King of Shields. When you draw a king, it gives you two armor. So it's useful to get those. And then item slots, uh, you, it starts, you start with four and then you can upgrade to five and then six. I typically would upgrade those first because those are items that you get that you'll use throughout the run, which um, are more useful sort of passive upgrades as you go along. So we'll, we'll try and go, for, go through a run here. Champion, take heed. You will be defeated many times on the road to Emperor Stuck. Fear not. When your heart breaks, I will mend it and reward you with powerful wildstone, which can grow your powers. He's kind of a glowy jester. He should probably have like more of like a Joey Gladstone voice. However, you will have to start your next journey at the beginning. That is the only way I can save you. But he's kind of possessed, so maybe he's a little more demonic. Good luck, champion. Remember, never give up. It's kind of Yoda-ish. Another one. Magic deck of cards. Show this pretender the power of the armies of stock. So each run is about, what is it, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, about 19 rounds, 18 rounds. Now go back home, kid, before I break your heart in two. Uh, so each one has like a slightly different theme. The ones that usually bother me the most, the one I've had a problem with, are usually the poison ones. Because they will affect your hearts directly and they will bypass shields. Now, I, I won't tell you too many strategies, um, so you can kind of enjoy and figure out your own strategy, um, but that's usually what bothers me, the, gives me the most trouble. So let's uh, play a little bit of solitaire here, so I can at least uh, try to get some upgrades and show you how that system works. Alright, so these yellow ones are just coins, and those are, coins are what you'll use to upgrade. Queen, King, Ace, Two. And obviously it won't be, it won't always be so nice and neat like it was in t the tutorial. And then boom, finish that off. That was actually pretty easy. Now you'll get these sort of victory states. Um, I've paid for the game, so I'm already automatically getting coin doublers, but it's important to know that on this screen it'll be half as many coins and then you'll have the option to watch an ad to double those coins. Um, what you can do is on the main screen uh, try to get an upgrade and then it'll offer for you to pay the coin doubler which I think is like two dollars and I, it's absolutely worth it. I would, I would definitely do that. So we'll go into the shop here. And um, we've got, where's my coins? Okay, on the bottom left, see we've got 33 coins and we've got some upgrades here. So these four on the top are ability upgrades. These are the spells. Those, those, are, those will replace those. And, um, and then these two are more of the passive items that will fit into these four slots. And then these, these are the two unlockable slots that I was talking about in the, the main area. So, um, increase maximum heart by two. I usually like to focus on things that will upgrade my amount of hearts or shield. And then this one starts the battle with plus one defense. So I will add that as well. And then they automatically get added into the slots. Um, and as you get more items, you'll just be able to, they'll show up on the bottom here and then you can swap them out. And then uh, just hit this arrow in the top right, tap the guy, and then hit battle. So we'll try and get through um, a few more battles. We'll, we'll, we'll do this one run, and uh, that'll give you enough of what you need to know to go check out this game, because it's fun. It's a nice twist on Solitaire. It makes you think a little bit differently. Oh, that was lucky. 
Getting green, Jack. Let's get a nice streak going. Get rid of one of these sevens. So you get a good streak going and you start getting like bonus coins, which is obviously helpful for upgrades and whatnot. So now you can see on the top here with this uh, character that I'm tapping, um, there's the hourglass. So that means they get a they have a delay for one turn. So you get two turns here. I had one turn and then I hit another turn, and then they hit you. So just kind of a fair warning to strategize based on that if it allows if the situation allows so I'm going to use a heart upgrade there to get some health back and we'll just use that But this is probably this has probably been one of my favorite mobile games in recent memory. It's uh, it's been quite addicting. Oh man, that's not good. Not good at all. Cards become bearded. So that just essentially means that if I were to use the sword on the bearded one. That it um, it will only get rid of the beard. That was a uh, good timing on the shield there. Sometimes sometimes this part sucks where you're trying to get the number and you can't quite get it. Oh, there goes seven six. I got pretty lucky. Victory. Break the seal. Tap twice. So I got a relatively small streak. But sometimes you can get some crazy streaks going depending on the upgrades you have set up. Let's go into the shop. I like to upgrade my weaponry here. So this one's a good one. If you want to try to get more coins, you can use this one. But I don't typically do that. Um, this one damages the column of the selected front card two times. So the current spell I have, this one, uh, damages just one card, and this one will damage two cards for one extra energy. So I'll, it's totally worth it. I'm going to use that. And, you know, you can change um, you can change your strategy a little bit too. You can save some money and try to just afford um, better upgrades as you go along, because the prices will go up, depending on the improvement of the upgrade. Alright, so let's try to get through this one. So as you can see on the bottom left, my heart count went up to 12. From that first upgrade. Two ways, two. Shields. I use shields any chance I get. Alright, seven, six, seven, six. Clean. Shields. Now, sometimes you'll have upgrades that have like trade offs little bit and um, for the first few sort of tiers you really won't have to do that so much you really just kind of make fairly straightforward decisions and for me at least I mean you could take the risks and do the trade-offs if you want but for the most part um, I've just been going for straightforward uh, You know, shield and attack upgrades. Well, I love all of the sound effects and animations and backgrounds. Everything is nice and polished. All the characters are kind of fun and interesting. 
I do wish things moved a little bit faster, um, but there's a certain deliberate nature to everything that it's a bit forgivable. You think escaping F Findelhoven was a big deal? The Meadows of Madness is where the nightmare begins. Alright. So I like to go into the shop every time. So th these, this is an example of a trade-off. So damage selected front card, then lose two heart and damage another random card. So that to me is not at all worth it. Uh, reveal the second card from the front of each column. If you want to do that sort of thing, you can. Lose all willpower, but gain an armor for every willpower lost. So that that could be a decent trade-off if you're looking to if you, if you are lacking shield upgrades, but are getting a ton of willpower that you're not able to really make use of. In this case, um, that might actually be a good idea, but um, I think we're fine for now. Um, in this case, I'm going to use the start battle with plus one attack energy. And I won't really need that because I haven't been using the... I haven't been using this guy, which is peak at the top card of your deck. I just haven't found a use for it. It's not useful to me, personally. But I, I can show you what that does on this next round. Five, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's very satisfying when you can get a good streak going. So I'll hit the um, green one here. So that shows you what the next card is going to be. Uh, I just haven't found a use case where that's useful. So you get these stun effects also, and you can get upgrades that del deliver stun effects, but can also nullify them or send them back. that. I'm going to hold off on the attack so I can get, if I get one more attack energy, I can use it effectively. Um, so this is kind of, we'll just do that. And boom. King, queen. More shields. Four, three, two, three. That was lucky. So, if, so you know, it is kind of important to think about if you have two cards of the same number, but two different value types or, or spell types, um, you might have to consider, you know, which one you need more. Instead of just picking one of the two. It might be important which one of the two you actually pick. Somebody, the Wine Brothers, just followed me. I don't know who that is. Uh, you know, hold on. We'll hold off on that. We'll hit that. We'll use that. Pick another card. And we'll hit that guy. really beats the old solitaire on the old Windows machines. Windows 95 solitaire. Let's say this is an upgrade. Ace. King. Alright. So in this case, I've got um, this guy that does two damage, so I'll definitely want to use it on the left one. Otherwise, it would go to waste. All 
Alright, give me a 9 or a jack. Oh, that one's... Yeah, put a spell on it that changes the number. I don't know if that statistically makes it more difficult or easier. The shield's gonna be useful. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. I might die. Oh, jeez. Um, we'll use that. And then we'll get rid of that guy. Oh, no, wait. I tapped the wrong one. Oh, fuck. That was not good. That was not not good. And we're dead. So there you go. That's a run. So at the end of the run, you'll get some of those gems. And you'll use those gems to create permanent upgrade upgrades for the run. So in this case, I would hit probably item slots, but I can't do it. Now, I didn't buy the coin doubler, or I already bought the coin doubler, but you haven't, if you haven't bought the coin doubler and you tap one of these, it will come up and ask you to purchase the coin doubler um but that's pretty much it if you if you go in here and look at all these and press the little i you can see what your starting uh your different starting attributes are like so you'll see that each one is like slightly different which makes for a slightly different experience every time so even though some of the enemies will probably be the same um you know, the experience is different. So as so far, I got up to the last one, and I have not... On my tablet, I got up to the last one, and I haven't beaten it yet. Um, but it's... You know, the challenge makes it interesting. Uh, you, you have to change your strategy a little bit. Um, decide which upgrades to go for first. And um, the item upgrades and spell upgrades are different each round. So that creates a different dynamic, too. It's It's randomized, so... Um, that makes it interesting. But this is Solitarica. Um, I really love it. I think you'll love it too. Definitely go check it out, iOS and Android. And uh, check back for more, superrocketpunch.com. This is Christian. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook links are in the description. Check out all the other videos. I'm trying to put out two a day um, for at least three or four days a week. So six to eight new videos a day. I'll be trying to find as many uh, random, interesting games that I can and share it with you guys. And um, if you have any games that you'd like me to check out, whether they're mobile games or games on Steam, put a link on the description and I will check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya!